Hi, I'm Eric Jackson, Director of Horticulture here at Old Salem, and today we're going to talk about crops from the continent of Africa. Okra, Albomotius escalentus. It's one of the quintessential crops of the South. It belongs to the mallow family along with hibiscus and cotton. Originally domesticated by early Ethiopian groups, the wild type of okra has tough pods and thick thorns. While modern okra is much more tender and less thorny, it still needs to be harvested before the pods become too tough to be enjoyed. Its first known mention occurred in 1216 in Egypt. Okra became popular in many Arab cuisines, spreading throughout North Africa to the Mediterranean and Southern Asia. Reaching the America with enslaved peoples from Africa, okra appears to have first been grown in Brazil and then the Caribbean before reaching the southeast United States in the early 18th century. Okra grows well in the heat of the south and has become a popular food for frying, pickling, and use in gumbo, or just even eaten raw. Its seeds were roasted and ground as coffee as a substitute during the Civil War. Also, the flowers are edible. Here in the Single Brothers Garden, we're growing what we call Old Salem Okra. This is a cross between uh, two old heirloom varieties, Dwarf Green and Alabama Red. We've been harvesting this okra to take to the food bank for our Victory Garden efforts, and we also bring in seed pods that we take into our seed lab for seed saving. Sesame, Sesamum Indicum, also known as Bene. Sesame is cultivated for its edible seeds, which grow in pods. Sesame seed is one of the oldest oil seed crops known, domesticated well over 3,000 years ago. Sesame has one of the highest oil contents of any seed. It has a rich, nutty flavor and is a common ingredient in cuisines across the world. Sesame seeds are believed to have been brought into the 17th century colonial America by enslaved West Africans. The entirety of the sesame plant was used extensively in West African cuisine. After arriving in North America, the plant was grown by enslaved people to serve as a subsistence staple as a nutritional supplement to their weekly rations. Sesame is great to grow here in our gardens in the south because of its drought tolerance and like many crops from Africa, really thrives in our hot and humid summers here in the southeast. Watermelon, Citrullus lanatus. Watermelons were domesticated in Africa and now are grown worldwide with over a thousand varieties. Watermelon is grown in favorable climates from tropical to temperate regions worldwide for its large edible fruit, which is a berry with a hard rind. The fruit can be eaten raw or pickled, and even the rind is edible after cooking. Watermelons were cultivated for their high water content and were stored to be eaten during dry seasons, not only as a food source, but as a method of storing water. The fruit began appearing in European herbals by 1600. European colonists and enslaved folks from Africa introduced the watermelon to the New World. In the Civil War era in the United States, watermelons were commonly grown by free black people and became one symbol for the abolition of slavery. Here in Old Salem, we've, we've grown and saved seed for quite a few different old heirloom watermelons, including the Moon and Stars watermelon, which has a pattern that looks like the moon and stars are on the watermelon. And we've also grown the rattlesnake watermelon. Here we are with sorghum, sorghum bicolor. Sorghum originated in northeastern Africa and has been identified as early as 8000 BC. Sorghums are a variety of grass that has been used in many ways such as syrup, grain, fodder, biofuel, and even for broom making. The first written record of sorghum being in America is from Benjamin Franklin in 1757 who wrote about brooms being made from sorghum. The variety we're growing here is called red seeded broom corn and it's a type of sorghum that the Moravians would have used to make brooms out of. And we'll save seed of this in our seed lab. This has been a look at just a few of the crops from Africa that were brought over by enslaved people to America. Come visit us in the Single Brothers Garden and take a closer look. Look.